Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I know some of you have been praying for me. I have to share something with you. And I'm not even sure of how to put it into words. You know, of late, uh, a few of you know this. Um, I've really been greatly disturbed in my afternoon midday nap times by this sweet little dog <laughs> that my neighbor just got and I mean I almost lost it the day of our Christmas party because I couldn't sleep to get a nap so that I could go at the time I signed up for <laughs> anyway I'm not going to get into all that Last night, even though I didn't get to start praying when I normally do, and I had to take the dog out at 10, and then I started. I, I reached some kind of an epiphany, or not an epiphany, that's more like when you, something you've been praying for, you get the answer, or you realize the answer. This is more like a, A uh, new level, it's like, okay, Joyce Meyer used to say, new level, new devil. <laughs> when you reach a new level, you get attacked more. So you have to step up to spiritual warfare. Well, this is not... To make anybody feel bad, but it just seems like here lately, I've been praying in the Spirit more when I say my prayers. Like when I get to and plead the blood of Jesus over my YouTube family, something I've been saying lately is whatever is on their prayer, prayer uh, list. Whatever they're praying for, no matter how many people or things or needs, I want to pray for them right now. And I would stop and start praying in the Spirit. Because I have no idea what's on your prayer, let, prayer, uh, prayer lists, right? I mean... Sometimes you mention it in the comments and we'll all pray for them or I'll even make a video, you know, so we know then. But otherwise, I don't know what the rest of y'all are praying for. And I think even though I was having such a hard time praying, y'all, I was like... I'd be praying, even even the Lord's Prayer. I start off with the Lord's Prayer, and I'd be like, "Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name." And even though I'd keep praying it, because I pray out loud and it's a memorized prayer, some other part of my brain would be thinking about, say, the dog, the. I don't know if you can hear it. Probably not. It's not that loud. It's just that my bed is right by the door. And it's right on the other side behind its door. And when you have fibromyalgia, it just bothers you more than it should, you know. Certain things just bother you more than they should. And if it's keeping you up from a necessary nap, you know, it's like, makes it worse. Like right now, I don't need sleep, so it's not really bothering me. But anyway, the point is, I've had trouble concentrating. So I'd say, oh, I, Lord, I'm sorry. I wasn't, I was thinking about something else. And I'd make myself say it over again and concentrate. I have to really concentrate. So, if any of you have been having problems with your prayer life, 
concentrating, if you're used to saying things you've got memorized, just make yourself do it again. And because that shows God that you're sincere about praying that prayer. Don't just skip over it and keep on going. Perseverance is something he loves. And to make yourself say it over again is perseverance. And I don't know how, I wish I had the words to share with you. I went into some kind of um, praise and worship mode that was just like it doesn't matter what's going on in my life it doesn't matter what's bothering me the things that had been bothering me are like ants like I was making mountains out of mohills you've heard that expression all these problems in our lives are like little molehills or ants. They're not monsters. They're not mountains. They may seem like it when it comes to needing money, but our Lord is so much bigger and what he has for us is going to be so huge it'll be like mount everest compared to that little molehill of need do you understand and i just got an explosion of happiness that I can't explain and I pray that it doesn't go away I pray that this stays with me I'm going to continue to try to pray in the spirit as much as I can and I do pray I prayed last night that every single one of you that are asking for the prayer for the ability to pray in, in the Spirit, I ask the Lord, the next time you ask for that, for Him to give it to you. Because it's awesome. And it allows you to pray for things you know not of, even for your own self. You may have a like a feeling something ain't right and you don't know exactly what it is you start praying in the spirit the lord knows he knows the source the reason how to fix it what it will take and he will your prayer will answer all those things and it might not go away right away. It might be some kind of problem he's putting you through for a little tri last minute tribulation to get you ready and purified. Always think about that. And say, Lord, am I being purified for something? And, you know, consider the fact that maybe you have to have a little more refinement. Or perhaps he'll show you you're under an attack. Start fighting back. You see? That's what prayer will do. He'll let you know. And then this went on for like over an hour. So it must have been, I don't know, close to midnight before I went to sleep. And I started having my abnormal movements, which I hadn't been doing because since I've been on, 
just gabapentin or neurontin. It has taken away 95% of my abnormal movements, which I was like, praise the Lord, this stuff's working. Okay, but I did laundry, I did some cleaning, and I got a number, 746. Oh my goodness, let's look it up. Anyway, I was like, I've done a lot the last couple days, so that kind of thing will cause it. Plus, I think the intensity of the emotions I was going through, you know, that affects your body when that happens. And it just can't help but rebel <laughs> and cause me a problem. All right, well, this is 746 in the Greek means... Well, the King James Version in Strong's translates it as beginning, which is 40 times a beginning, a principality, corner, first, or miscellaneous. It's used as beginning or origin. The person or thing that commences the first person or thing in a series like the leader that by which anything begins to be the origin the active cause the extremity of a thing of the corners of a sail hmm the extremity of a thing that's strange. It's like your your arms and legs are your extremities, okay, of your body. The corners of a sail. Hmm. The first place, principality, rule, magistrate, mad, magistracy, no, magistracy. That's, I've never heard of that word, of angels and demons. The first place, principality, rule, magist, I wonder if it's supposed to say magistry, but no, it, probably not, of angels and demons. used absolutely of the beginning of all things. Well, wouldn't our life in heaven be a beginning of all things, a beginning of our eternity? That's the very first thing that popped into my mind, the beginning of our whole new life. That all these little mohills are going to go away. And maybe some of your mohills are closer to little mountains. I realize that. Let's try Hebrew 746. Just to see what it says. can pronounce that R yoki something like that means arioch every time I look up a word it is a person's name but arioch means lion like oh that means time to go out lion like well the king of Judah, the Jesus is the lion from the tribe of Judah, so he's lion-like. But this is talking about the ancient king of Elisar, the ally of somebody, the chief of the executioners for Nebuchadnezzar. But usually it tells 
Well, it says lion like. So that doesn't <clears throat> really give me anything. So I'm going to um, end it here. I wish I could put, put it into words more descriptively how how I was feeling how awesome it was when you increase your praise and worship into really really getting into it it's like a whole nother level and it's so joyful See, I've been praying, Lord, I've lost my joy. I need my joy back. And I haven't been praising you like I need to. And it's like somebody's been praying for me, it, clearly. And it just came over me to start praying in tongues even when I was done with my usual spiritual warfare part and I had to continue praying and then it started turning into I was singing hallelujah not not anybody else's version it was my own tune and then it turned into singing in tongues in that ver in that little tune and it was just wonderful. So I want to encourage you all to press in if you're feeling bad and realize if any of you are, will be spending Christmas alone and you've been down about it, you press in there and realize you're not alone. You're going to spend it with Father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. All right? And what, what a better, how shall I say it, who better to spend the most special day for Christians who celebrate Christmas. What better company than our Elohim? All right, so try to think about that and sing those beautiful Christmas carols like Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Silent Night, Oh Holy Night. I was finding them on YouTube earlier. I think that's what started it anyway. It was just awesome, and I wanted to share it. And I hope that encouraged somebody. I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video, my computer, the internet connection, and over each and every one of you. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, well, that's okay. Your conscience tells you not to. So... I could say Happy Hanukkah. I hope you do something for Hanukkah. If if you can light some candles in a row or something, or maybe you actually have a, a menorah. I have one, but I can't light the candles. Not here. Candles are a no-no or anything that makes smoke. So um, with that, I'll say bye for now, and I'll talk to you later.